Okay, so today, um, I guess I'm, I just wanted to quickly show everybody uh, my setup uh, briefly for recording on my iPad. Um, I have had a lot of issues in getting this set up, and so as a result, I wanted to kind of put a video out there um, to kind of show people, hey, this is what I found, this is what works, and just in case you were trying to get it going. And so, a couple of key components, obviously, you got to have an iPad. Um, in my particular case, I had this Ederol um, UA25, um, really a great unit, uh, works really, really well. It's, it's got uh, two XLR inputs, um, it's got your output for monitoring here, it also on the back of it, um, it has MIDI ports, um, outs for speakers as well, a quarter, both quarter inch and RCA. Uh, as well as your USB, which it's going to plug into the iPad eventually, and a bunch of other settings. A couple of key things to remember on the back. Um, phantom power can be on or off in this circumstance, so it just depends on whether your mic requires phantom power or not. If it does, then this will work on this setup. It's no problem. Um, make sure the advanced is turned off. Um, this is a driver thing, and so if, if it's with a Mac or a PC, then we can use the advanced on and have the drivers. Uh, where we're using it with an iPad, we need to, it's generic, and so we need to make sure that we have it off so it'll work properly. You can set your sample rate to where you want it. I have it on 44.1. It can go right up to 96. If you're doing high def, you can do 48. Um, would be your most common, or 96, of course. Um, play record button. Uh, yes, it matters, but at the same time, I've never really found... A, it mattering either way it, it still works whether it's in or out um, limiter on or off again uh, if you need it it's there okay so those are the basic quick setup uh, functions for this using it with the iPad uh, you do have these nice sense uh, sensitive buttons they're called sense for whatever reason they're gain control more or less so it's an input volume so it's what you're pushing from your microphone or guitar um, to the iPad uh, to your software. Um, this here is your monitor level. This only affects what's going through your headphones. This output level is also affects uh, what's coming back to your headphones. Uh, this monitor level really is only what's direct monitored. So from these inputs directly through to this volume uh, and then out to your headphones uh, where this here is actually also uh, feeding back audio from the iPad back through this is kind of your master output volume to your headphones that have stuff that's coming back through so again this is basically an external sound card that's USB works on the Mac works on the PC and also works on the iPad now so pretty slick setup uh, so here we go you're gonna need some kind of device like this you're gonna need your iPad obviously um, next you're also gonna want now my I have an iPad 4 and so it has the lightning cable end so I went out and purchased this lightning to USB which is a camera kit um, they have a couple of different versions of this camera kit um, in my particular case uh, this is all I really needed so that's what I bought okay now USB cable pretty standard stuff and this is really the puppy that kind of makes this whole thing happen this is the Macaulay, um seven port hub it's called the tri hub and so this is really what it took me a while to, to track down and figure out what I needed number one it has to be powered so you definitely need a powered hub it doesn't need seven ports it just so happens that that's what this one has um, and so I plug my power obviously into an outlet plug it into the end of the Macaulay and that's kind of step one. Then the Macaulay goes out on the other end here. It has a cord, it's a USB end, okay? This is what I'm going to plug into my um, camera kit, okay? So that's fine to do this step. Do not plug this into the iPad at this point. If you plug this into the iPad at this point, um, you're gonna run into some issues. Uh, with it working properly okay so we just kind of set this aside now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my USB cord it's going to go to my Edderall into one of the power ports I so happen to find that this one worked for me so that's the one I'm using I'm going to set this down over here 
I'm going to plug the other end of this into the USB port in the back. So it's just that simple. No lights yet. Nothing seems to be working. However, at this point I'm ready to plug it into my iPad. So I just get this out, plug it in here, and bada boom, USB light shows up on the Adderall. It's really that simple. Um, from here, you're pretty much free to use whatever softwares will work with external cards. So, in my case, I was using GarageBand. I'm not really going to go through GarageBand. Uh, I think you guys pretty much should have an idea of that. There's lots of tutorials out there in GarageBand that could do a way better job than what I could do. That's for sure. Um, just learning how to use it. So, going to GarageBand, if it's a guitar single, signal that you're going to put in, again, remembering that with the Adderall, um, you could either have quarter inch or XLR inputs. It's all in one input. Um, so I could go to this guitar and I could turn, uh, now that I have that on, I could, you know, I could adjust my amp settings, choose what amp head I want. Um, personally, I really like this, uh, this one here. Um, looks like it mimics a box is what I'm assuming it mimics. Um, nonetheless, uh, great, great amp. So I choose that, uh, make sure that my monitoring is on. And when I turn the monitoring on, it's going to come back. Uh, through to my Adderall unit um, out the output of the Adderall okay and this also tells me that I have the, it, it's smart enough to know that I have two channels on the Adderall so it knows I have a left and I have a right I can only record one input at a time um, but it does have both there so that's that's nice it's nice that it understands that um, there's also a noise gate here the lower it is the more uh, there's no gate and the higher it is the harder it is to turn on the, the mic or the input okay so if you have a particularly noisy item and you just or a loud background and you just want the direct sound of the mic that's there coming through then you're going to turn that up if you're not you're going to turn it down so uh, that all depends on your environment that you're recording in so so that's it for the guitar side if i go in here to instruments I could also choose the mic side and when I go into here under microphone it says tap the record button start recording using an external USB audio interface that would normally say mic okay the, the mic on the unit but it says audio interface as you can tell when I'm clapping now there's nothing coming through there but what I'm going to do is I am going to plug in a microphone and just kind of give you a quick idea uh, you're not going to really hear the sound of it because I don't have it plugged into a, uh, a mic or anything or a sound system I just have it simply plugged into the unit itself and so I will pull this over here so again standard XLR is going to go in and <laughs> you've seen it pop there I don't have the camera showing my UA25 right now just bear with me a second I'll find the other end of my cable And then the other end of it is uh, I have a beautiful Beta 87 here, which you can see right there, Beta 87, which, by the way, is a phantom power mic. So I'm going to plug it in. First thing we're going to notice, hey, 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 I got nothing coming out of this mic. You can see nothing. So I'm going to turn the phantom power on. I got a little light that came. Hey, hey, hey. I got a peak light now on my unit. I got to start to get input. I can adjust my input level up until it's coming in. There it is. So I can then record that and I can say, hey, one, two, one, two, check testing one, two, and I can end my recording. Then it gives me all these cool, fun options to make it sound like a telephone or in a small room or dreamy or there's to make it sound like, sound like a chipmunk. Anyway, again, that's GarageBand. So you can play with that a little bit, but that just shows that it is working, okay? So, that was my quick tutorial on this. Um, if you guys have any other questions, I appreciate your comments, your feedback. If you got any questions on any other gear that I was using, let me know. Um, I'll put the links to where I found the Macaulay, uh, which is a pretty popular brand name. I actually bought it myself at the uh, Jump Plus store, which is the Mac dealer here in Atlantic Canada. Uh, so they're an Apple store. I, I went right there and I bought it there because they were super good to me and allowed me to test it in the store with my unit. Uh, opened the box and the whole deal to save me from buying. So hey, thumbs up to you guys. Really appreciate it there at Jump Plus. Um, 
as far as the Adderall, I've had it for a few years. Um, they do have a new one out, the UA25EX. Uh, that is the current model. It might even be being discontinued sh shortly. I'm not positive, but I just wanted to let everybody know that, hey, here, this is an older unit. It does work. These are inexpensive to buy. I knew they were 250 I know they're down to like 150 now. So not an expensive way to get yourself an interface uh, that is really works really well with the iPad. Um, I've recorded a couple of things already, and it's just smooth. So uh, probably uh, another video. I'll put up uh, a couple of things of me recording with it so you can get an idea of the sound that's coming out of it. Okay, great. Thanks for listening. Bye.